Order. Question number two, Chris Bishop. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What progress is the government making in, help redu in helping reduce New Zealand's external debt position? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, the latest current account data issued by Statistics New Zealand shows New Zealand is making some good progress in reducing its external debt. Net external debt fell to 58% of GDP in March. This is the lowest this is the lowest level since 2003. Uh, it is helped by government getting on top of its spending, but households are making a positive contribution. In fact, households had positive savings for the last five years, and this has not happened since the early 1990s. Before 2010, household savings had been negative in all but one year since 1995. Very good. A supplementary question, Chris Bishop. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How is the savings behaviour of households contributing to New Zealand's improving overall debt position? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, if you look at the uh, total numbers for household savings, uh, these have totaled $11.6 billion over the last five years. The previous five years, uh, there was $15.5 billion of net borrowing rather than $11.6 billion of net saving. Of course, this, a growing economy helps because it supports more jobs and higher incomes. 74,000 more jobs have been created in the past year and average annual wages have increased by $5,700 in the last four years. Uh, these, this, the economic confidence and the higher incomes assists house, house, households to save more. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Uh, supplementary question, Chris Bishop. What steps is the government taking to reduce Crown debt? Oh. Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, households, households have been doing their bit by saving more and borrowing less, and the government is focusing on borrowing less. Uh, we're focused on Order. getting government spending under control. Core Crown expenses have fallen from 34% of GDP in 2008-09 to 30% next year. And the government has achieved this by focusing on controlling expenditure uh, with around a billion of new money per year. However, we will need to stick to this kind of fiscal discipline in order to generate the surpluses required to start repaying debt in the way that households, uh, many households have been repaying debt. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Chris Bishop. This is a cracker. What, what recent reports has he received on the government's expenses and revenue? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, in the uh, interests of transparent government, the government publishes monthly accounts, and those for the 10 months to the 30th of April show that the uh, measure of the government surplus uh, shows a turnaround of from $450 million, uh, around a billion better than forecast in the budget just a few weeks beforehand. This shows that the government monthly accounts fluctuate, but it looks slightly more likely we could get to surplus for the 14-15 year. Go on, Jerry, you're ready for this. Supplement. See if you can Order. answer it, Jerry. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Can he confirm that when he took office in 2008, he said that New Zealand was, quote, in a reasonable position regarding debt, and that since then, net debt has risen to over $60 billion? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, one of the things the Labor finance spokesman needs to get up to date with is the global financial crisis. I know at the time he was the tertiary education spokesman, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. And it's one of the, re one of the reasons, alongside the Christchurch earthquake, for the growth in government debt over that time. Oh, point of order, Grant Robert. Um, there were actually uh, a couple of questions there, either of order, which could have order, been answered the by members, the members, uh, either order. were. The members are arguing they weren't addressed. In the final stages, in my opinion, they were. It did take some time, but they were addressed. 
Certainly one was, and that's all that's required. Does the member have a further question? question Supplementary Speaker. question, Grant Robertson. Do the budget documents that he released earlier in May say that net debt will not be reduced in nominal terms until the 2019 fiscal year? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I'd have to go back and check. As you'd expect. But the member would be, if the, mem the member would be correct in, if he was saying that the government can't actually repay nominal debt until it has sufficient cash surpluses as opposed to accounting surpluses, and that is quite a challenge. And that's why I look forward to the member's continued support for the government's policy of fiscal restraint and effective government spending. Question number three.